always taking action for you. An Arab American woman is suing a Metro Detroit business claiming discrimination because she was wearing a religious headscarf. And the confrontation between the woman and the store was caught on tape. Seven investigator Jonathan Carlson has the story. Ragda Ali stands in front of Advance America in Inkster this morning. It was June of this year when the Metro Detroit woman says she walked into the cash advance provider looking to make a transaction. And she said, get out. Ali claims the clerk pointed to this dress code sign on the door and made her leave her religious headscarf violating the no hat policy. She said, you guys are not allowed here um, unless you take this scarf. It's like, this is our beliefs and our religious, you know, we cannot take it off. She said, if you're not take it off, we cannot serve you. Ali has filed a federal lawsuit against the store's corporate parent. The suit claims Michigan does not require the removal of the scarf for state ID or driver's licenses and the store's contention that the removal Removal is needed for identification purposes is unlawful. A lack of, you know, religious uh, uh, culture, and uh, I think they don't, you know, they're not maybe awareness of, of Islam. Uh, culture. You know, this is my country, and I have the right same as they do have. Backing Ali today, the Council on American Islamic Relations and the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee. In this instance, we're talking about a religiously protected activity. In this instance, we're talking about mistreatment towards somebody because of the way they look. Ali's supporters provided 7 Action News with a video she shot, which they say captures the store employee in action. It's on the door. Have some glasses or a Please, please don't have hands. Yeah. Please, please don't have hands. I understand it's for your religious purposes, but you can't use the when you come in here. But we cannot take it off, so we cannot. Okay, then you need to go to one of our bulletproof centers that don't have that policy. When we entered the store for comment today, we were told we needed to contact corporate. So we did. They released a statement which reads, in part, while Advance America understands the concerns expressed by the plaintiff, we regret that she may have misinterpreted the intent of our policy, and we intend to vigorously defend the legitimate security purpose of our practice in court. You can read more of their statement on our website, wxyz.com. Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. All right.